All right, it is time for a guitar review. Not doing a bass review today. Um, this is the Ibanez RG655 Prestige. It is uh, got this, it's 24 frets. Um, they're big frets, I think they're extra jumbo. Um, it's got this kind of pearl black, sparkly black look. It's really cool in person. Um, black pick guard. It's got kind of the triple thread of DiMarzio pickups here. It's got the tone zone in the bridge, true velvet in the middle, and the Air Norton in the neck. Um, it's got Ibanez's uh, edge double locking uh, tremolo, and uh, it holds tune very well. I've had a a lower end, I had the Joe Cetriani model, the, the Indonesian made one, or Korean made one. Uh, and uh, it, it had the Edge 2 or something. And it did fine, but it, it I had to kind of fine tune it a little more than, than I expected to have to. But this one, I'm, I'm always checking it because I'm just kind of paranoid that it's not gonna hold. And it, it, it does, um, you know, and if it's off, it's just a, just a little bit. Um, not enough that you would even notice so um and then it's got the wizard i want to say it's the wizard pro neck i, I can't remember for sure but it's got a satin kind of sanded finish to it it's 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 not like gloss or anything it's a real real fast neck um truly cool comes with a cool hard shell case uh with a uh, an ibanez um prestige tool it's called it's got all the little allen heads and screwdrivers and things that you'll need to work on this guitar i don't think you'll need another tool to work on this guitar um it is in about the thousand dollar range us um so it's it's kind of a it's kind of the entry level to the prestige line uh for those of you who don't know the prestige line is like ibanez's kind of top end uh whereas with fender you've got like the american standard series and then of course there's like the elite and all that with fender now and the custom shop and stuff but um prestige is kind of the top of the line stuff you can buy from the store uh without getting into like the ibanez custom stuff so um you know, it's very good quality, made in Japan. Um, and if, and to me, I love Japanese instruments. Um, the Fender Aerodyne bass, in my opinion, is one of the best basses that Fender makes. Um, and I have an American standard P bass, but I really, really like that Aerodyne. Um, I've played, I've never owned an American Strat or anything. Um, I have a friend that has one, he's got two of them. And, um, they're okay, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. They're great guitars, but I, I personally like this better um, Or I would have gotten an American Strat um, I, I really do dig the Eric Clapton model though. would like to have one of those one day, but that's a whole other story uh, It's two controls on this uh, volume tone and you've got a five-way selector here uh, when you do the selector um, you uh, of course all the way this way is your bridge second position or what I'm calling the second position is going to be um, a split coil bridge with the true velvet. Middle is the true velvet. Position number four is going to be the true velvet, and then the split a split neck, and then full humbucker neck is position five. So, um, going to be playing through the Marshall Class Five uh, all tube single channel uh, five watt amplifier ten inch speaker. Um, uh, this first is going to be just the dry signal, and this is just going to be the bridge. And here's what it sounds like. Just going to kind of play some simple chords here. And that's just the that's the tone zone, just dry signal. Uh, here's the position two. Here's just the True Velvet by itself, which to me kind of gives it kind of a Strat tone. I really like the True Velvet. Um, here's the True Velvet and the neck. And then here is just the neck, the Air Norton. So I'm going to add a little bit of um, delay. It, it's almost set to more of just a reverb 
uh, than it is delay at this point. It's the it's the Bell Epoch from Catlin Bread. It's supposed to be like an Agoplex. Not only does it add um, delay, but it also has a, a kind of a preamp in it, like the old Agoplexes did. Uh, so I'm, this is just with it now, just a little bit of that delay. And like I said, it's set more to reverb setting. And here's the back to the bridge pickup. <laughs> But if I'm playing cleaner like that, I really like to stay in the middle pickup on the True Velvet. I just think it has a cool sound. It sounds, you know, about as much like a Strat as you're going to get this guitar to sound like. So. juice it up a little bit uh, we'll stay on the middle pickup for now and this is gonna be the um, super bolt from uh, JHS so it's not a crazy overdrive or anything but it's gonna give us a little more <laughs> Overdrive now, so it's going to give us a, a higher gain setting. Still on that middle pickup. Uh, going to go to the bridge now, and it re really adds some gain. So try not to get this thing to feed back as much as I can. Again, I'm not really a guitar player, I'm a bass player, but um, I love playing guitar, um, so I'm not the best, but uh, that last little thing was just something I wrote. Uh, try not to do a whole lot of plagiarism here by playing other licks, but I did. I played one lick that was somebody else's song. Um, let's see what else. Uh, we'll go to the neck. Uh, still with the same, the pretty high gain setup here. <laughs> Let's just go back to the Super Bowl here. And just take it off. We'll do some of the in-between positions with um, some gain on it. So this is the the bridge and the middle. Mess that up. Uh, here's the middle and the neck.
think I pretty much run through everything. Uh, we can do like a here. Let's do a little test on the on the bar here. Uh, let's make sure I am in tune. Pretty darn close. Okay. Uh, so I'll just bomb the crap out of it and tug on it and kind of see where I'm at. And I'll also give you a little. Uh, we'll go to the middle pickup. This is kind of clearer, and we'll take off the. All the pedals and kind of... We'll go with that E chord. Alright, here we go. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, I'll even check it on the tuner. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it stays in tune pretty well. Uh, I hardly ever do all that crap. I mean, you know, every now and then I might just do a little, uh, like, uh, <laughs> stuff like that or even I, sometimes I like to put my palm back here on it a little bit and kind of do some picking and it gives it kind of like a trim effect something like that anyway uh so you know I'm not crazy with the bar but I do like having it and it's nice to just go pick the guitar up you know out of the case or something and it's it's still in tune you don't have to really tune it um uh, once you get your string stretched out, of course, if you don't get your string stretched out that great, then yeah, you're going to have to fiddle with it some, but... Say I went from straight bridge to neck there, you can just tell the tone difference. Here's the neck with the tone rolled like all the way off. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Um, my camera cut off on me when I was trying to show you how the tone control worked. But um, uh, basically, all I was wanting to really show you is that the tone control works really well. It doesn't just go from straight, you know, all treble to just none. Uh, there's really good in betweens on that, so you know you can kind of get the amount or roll off the amount that you want. So, um, but here's the case. I thought I'd show you that real quick. Uh, it's a pretty nice case. Um, it does lock. Uh, got this cool like red almost velvet looking interior um, really soft um, here's the uh, the uh, tool that's called the Ibanez premium tool it's got almost uh, not premium prestige tool but it's got everything you could probably need to really work on this bass um, not bass guitar sorry um, you know your owner's manual and all that kind of stuff too but uh, it's a really cool case um, you know, I think when you spend that kind of money on a guitar, you should get a case with it. Um, and I've really gotten to where I order most of my stuff because the closest music store is about an hour away. Um, so, or not closest music store, but closest like music store that has a lot of stuff. There's a kind of a local store that has a few things. But um, So I order most of my stuff from American Music Supply. Uh, I really like using them. And I've gotten to the point to where I just don't really like buying... Uh, guitars or basses without a case because you never know what's going to happen to them on their way over here you know being shipped so but there's the case hope you enjoyed the video um i really like the guitar uh it's really meant to be played and it cut off again so sorry about that um but i was just saying i really like it it's really meant to be played like high gain a lot of distortion you know it's kind of a metal guitar more than like a blues guitar or something so just keep that in mind when you're buying it um hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching